Hey, y'all, and welcome back. Thank you for joining me for supper. Y'all do this a good bit, and I enjoy the company tonight, this afternoon, whenever this is. We're going to make a taco pasta. I guess it's kind of like a hamburger helper-ish taco flavored on the Blackstone. Not really sure what I want to call it yet, but I think I'm going to go with taco pasta. Anyhow, it's very simple, really simple. Uh, I made this a couple weeks ago, and the family really loved it, and I'm like, you know, I think I'm going to make it again. Make a few little tweaks and, and changes to it and make a video of it and show y'all what we're doing here. Now looking at the ingredients, it's not gonna take a whole lot to put this together. It's really gonna be very simple, but full of flavor. Now I'm feeding a lot of people. That's the reason I have so much here. Uh, we're feeding a good bit. Now I'm gonna use like four pounds of hamburger meat, a whole pound, one box of the noodles here. Uh, you know, a whole medium onion here. It's a lot, it's a lot, but you do you. If you don't need that much, Reduce it down, make to make smaller amounts, or you can make this and prepare your lunch for the week, however you want to do it. That's the great thing about making meals like this. It, it will save in the refrigerator, put it in Tupperware bowls, whatever you need to do, and you got meals for later on in the week. So I went ahead and fired up the Blackstone, got everything going on low, getting it ready to cook all this up. What I'm showing you is how we enjoy this 100%. I say this in a lot of other videos, Recipes are guidelines, they are not rules. I will stand that, I'll, tell my, I'll, I'll die on that hill, I really will. If you wanna add jalapenos, chopped jalapenos to this, if you wanna take away the onions, if you don't want the bell peppers in here, you can change it up, you do you. You know what you and your family like and you 100% can change it up to make it the way you like it. This is just an idea, a baseline to go by and that's all my recipes ever are, so you know, with that, I want to know what you would change up. How would you make it yours? What would you add? What would you take away? What would you do different? Let me know down in the comments. But for right now, we need to go check on that grill and see if it's time to start cooking. Well, there's that white smoke. That means this griddle is ready for some groceries. Let's throw down this meat first. Now this right here is ground chuck. I don't like using the 73% too much because there's a lot of fat in it. I like using a chuck to do stuff like this. It's not near as greasy. So now, the hamburger meat's on there. It's starting. Now we gotta get it seasoned because nobody wants no plain hamburger meat. So grab up that street taco seasoning and let's add some flavor. And don't be scared of it. Don't be scared of adding too much seasoning. I don't think you can do that. Oh wow, this is smelling so good now. Man, it smells like taco night around here now. Let's get that mixed in here. Yes sir, there we go. Now what I'm gonna do is let this cook for just a few more minutes, then we're gonna add them peppers and them onions and let it cook for a little bit, try it out, see if it needs more seasoning and we'll go from there. Well, man, right now, this is smelling so good with that street taco seasoning on this burger. Yes, sir. Now, nah, this meat's been cooking for another minute or two. Let's stir it up and see how it looks. See if we need to add them peppers and onions yet. Yes, I do believe it is time to add them in here. So here I have one medium onion that I've diced up. Throw it in there, get it all in there. Now I have some uh, bell peppers here, as you see, a lot of different colors. Uh, I didn't use all of them that I diced up. I used about the same amount, same size bowl here, so I can get the onion to the bell pepper ratio about equal. Let's add these in. Add some color to it. And give it a good mix. Now this will help soften up them onions and peppers and all that good stuff. Oh yeah, it's looking like taco night now showing up. The hamburger's about done. Yeah, it's looking good. Spread it out. Now that's a pretty griddle. Now, this is beginning to look and smell like taco night for sure. Man, I love all the color that them bell peppers add to this dish right here. It looks so good. So now it's just a matter of letting that hamburger meat finish cooking and then we're gonna put all this together. This is the dish that really does not take long. 
perfect for a weeknight meal, on the, on the go kind of stuff. Comes together really quick. Let's give everything a stir again. Now, as you see, using that ground chuck, there's not a lot of grease in this at all. Now, this hamburger meat is done. The peppers and onions are starting to soften up, so let's go ahead and get the grease out of it now. So basically what I do to get the grease out is just hold it up like that. And as you can see, you have a little bit of grease. Can y'all see that grease coming out? To me, that's the best way to get the grease out of this dish. You just sit up here to the side. You do the same thing over and over. You get all that grease out of it. Now I gotta say, that's not much grease at all right there for that much hamburger meat. But now let's get rid of that grease. Down the back you go. All right, grease is gone. So slide all this back over into the center. So. Spread it back out. Now, I'm gonna take just a little taste of the hamburger meat to see if it's got the seasoning like I want. Yeah, let's just try this little piece here. It's there, but I want more. So I'm gonna add more. All right, let's mix that up. Oh, that smells so good. I'm telling you, it smells good. Looking good too. So now, So now I'm gonna add one block of cream cheese. The last time I added two, and to me it was just a little bit much, so I'm gonna cut back. With this one, try one. There again, 100%. You want the kind of the creaminess of the cream cheese in there? Add it. If you don't, leave it out. And just mix it in. It takes a little bit to kind of work that cream cheese into it, but that's okay. At this point, to mix that cream cheese in, you just kind of keep on stirring it around. Chop it up a little bit. It'll give a nice little creamy texture in there. Right, spread that back out. Just kind of let that cream cheese melt all in there. Now just look at how all this is coming together. Man, that creaminess, that cream cheese, them bell peppers. That hamburger meat smelling like a good old taco right now. We ain't done yet though. Now I got some Kobe Jack cheese here I'm gonna use. Uh, if you wanna use a pepper jack, a habanero jack, whatever kind you wanna use, cheddar, whatever. You do you, but right now I'm gonna use this Kobe Jack. Dump it in there. And as you see, I don't have a whole lot. You can make it as cheesy as you want, whatever. but it's really coming together. That right there, I believe, would be good in the bowl by itself. I could just eat that by itself right there. All right, spread that back out. As you see how cheesy it's getting now. So now we need to add this pasta into it. I've already pre-boiled it. This is like, say, one pound box of rotini noodles, I think it's called. Anyhow, use whatever noodles you like. Let's get them on there. I think I'll use my chopper for these. Yeah, that's a lot better. Chop it up. Now, I can mix them. Spread that out again. So now we got everything added in, but we gotta add some sauce. So I got some Taco Bell mild sauce. Uh, use whatever kind of sauce you want, but I love this Taco Bell mild. And I got two jars of it. Don't know if I'm, I'm gonna see how far one jar takes it. Pour it in there. I already feel like 
one jar is not going to be enough. But I'm going to mix this up and just see where it goes. Yeah. One jar ain't going to do it. Hope two jars does. But if it don't, hey, I know to use three next time. Let's go ahead and add this other jar into it. I think I might just do it there. Give that a stir. Oh yeah, I think that's what I'm looking for there. I don't want it too soupy. I just don't want it too soupy. Man, I don't know about you, but that is looking good right there. We gotta take this up. I wish you could smell all this coming off this griddle right now. Now this is a lot of food to get up off this griddle. So you need something big. I got a big old scoop here. Uh, picked this up at Lowe's and it's really perfect for stir fries, big pasta dishes. Whenever you're cooking a big meal like this, this is what you need. Let's get off the griddle. Look how that scoops in there, y'all. Look at that. See there? Perfect. Man, it's a lot of food. Look at all that food right there. Let's take it over here and finish it up and try it out. Boy, that came together quick, didn't it? And look, I mean, can't say, look how much food that made. Of course, I have a lot of miles to feed around here. Or like I said, it's great meal prep for the week, but we're not done yet here anyhow. I'm gonna add some chopped cilantro, just a little light dusting up to the top. Add a little color, a little flavor, a little pop to it because pretty food, at the end of the day, pretty food just tastes better. So let's just sprinkle on a little bit of cilantro around here, there and yonder. Because once they start digging in, it's gonna get mixed in. There we go. Looks good to me. Y'all, I'm telling you, I'm proud of this dish. Here is the finished product. I mean, look how beautiful and how much food this made. Man, this is going to be good. Family's going to be so happy. They're going to love me. We got to try it out, y'all. Well, y'all, here it is. I mean, you just seen it up close. And let me know in comments what you think. Does it need more sauce? Does it need more whatever? Let me know what you do different with yours. But right now, I'm going to try this out. Just a little fork full here. Perfect. That. Mmm, oh yeah. Dang, that's good. The taco seasoning to me is not overpowering, but along with that taco sauce, I mean, it's 100% tastes like a taco. The onions and the bell peppers have just a little bit of crunch left to them like I like. Now, you may not like that. Me personally, I like that. When I say a little bit of crunch, I mean just a really light crunch. Uh, the noodles, they're nice and warm. They're perfect. Of course, I, you know, I pre-boiled those, brought them out here. They were cold when I put them on the grill. You see how they stuck together. The griddle does a great job heating them back up. Uh, perfect dish. I mean, super simple to throw together here. It's got the creaminess I'm looking for with that cream cheese in there also. If you want a little more creaminess to it, add more cream cheese, that simple. Uh, again, let me know what you do different, how you'd make this more your own. I would love to know. Or make it like I made it and let me know how it turns out for you. I'm loving people telling me that they've made my dishes and how it's turned out and how people's liked it. Love that. Thank you so much for reaching out and letting me know. If you take any pictures and post on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, anywhere, TikToks, I don't care where you're at. We're on all, all them platforms. Be sure to tag me. I would love to see what you're out there making. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and take this inside. Kids are probably getting pretty hungry. and We'll see you next time.